Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. It's Chris Khan Academy Chaemi and I'm here to give you more about another examination preparation questions and answers. So I know that here in Rwanda different students are approaching to do national exam especially for those who are in advanced level i know that you are going to join in term three and then you need more bank of questions and answers that can help you to compare with the national examination 2024-2025 i think you're going to do it in a in september sorry in july and uh, i wish you the best and if you're the first time to reach here in Chris Khan Academy as a student or as a teacher or as a parent, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help you to get more update videos that can help you as a student or as a teacher or can help your young, young, young students that are doing with, dealing with the mathematics or the studies in primary. So, in this time or in this video, I wish to come with a primary question papers and answers in, math in mathematics as i told you that uh, last time or always my videos like it to help you as a student to give you some clarification that can help you to do exam and then maximize it first and foremost almost it's a common or it's a it's a basic character to the bright students students that uh, is uh, wish to pass first to read all about instruction of the of the exam before opening the paper and uh, writing anything or no whether it's the answer sheets or draft or in a, in a book right please first and foremost read through the instructions clearly and understand it as it is it will help you to do your exam as well as you wish so as i told you please subscribe comment share, and like to those who are not subscribed to our channel so here we have question paper and uh, after seeing the questions that comprises this question paper i will show you the respective answers from question one up to up the last question respectively this is the question number one as usual in primary Please, students, if you are preparing your exam, there are such questions that you like to focus on so that you can get it clearly and understand it because it's already repeatedly to be asked in, in national exams. For instance, these, these things that are about were right in words. So it's very easy questions that can help you to do it. If this question number one it's carries two marks it's very simple questions that can even is it it can, that can be easy to you to get that two marks read through and i'm going not i'm not going to read all questions because it will take uh, more minutes that can uh, prevent you or that can uh, not allow you to to go with uh, uh, answers but I would i'm going just to skim out and see the questions if you are watching the video it's better to, to download it so that you can write it as well or you can um, you can um pause the video and then write the question and then move down to see the answer number it's all about press value of digit five and four and you know it's about the press values Adding vertical, it's very easy using co signs, compare, like greater than, less than, or equal. Here we have what about round off and uh, finding the missing numbers as the sequences that are being provided. So it is a very easy number seven. So about so definition of our abstuse angle, abstuse angle, what is it? Define the term probability of an event. So this is to convert from 0 0.54 into fraction and simple simplify and uh, come answer the, the uh, answer the uh, provide the answer completely. It's all about calculating percentage of 300. Very easy. Just taking 20 over 
100 times 300 and then you, you you cancel the zeros to to see the remaining answers very easy questions so as students go through like this reading the questions and see what's uh, being asked before answering it this is all about integers so and uh, use uh, a quick multiple question to calculate the following questions very easy very easy finding 2 over 3 of 21 this year to simplify by 3 and then one to become 9 and then cross by f2 to, be, to get 18 very easy questions write the multiple of 3 between 10 and 17 the lcm of 36 84 and 75 work out 4.5 kilogram plus 13.6 Diagram each in it. You have to convert it in a kilogram. As you see, decagram here. You have to to first uh, translate it into kilogram to, so that it can be the, or it can be to be added by four point five kilogram to get it the answer in it, in kilogram. Very easy questions. This is calculating the, the the remaining p and this line shows the uh one hundred degrees. If it is this one thirty, you have to know that p is equal to what. Very easy. This is almost uh, the, 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 the line, what you call semi circle having the angle of, of 180 degrees. And then if you want to get this P, you have to take P plus 130 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees. You have to take 180 degrees minus 150 degrees to get 50. Very easy question. The P is equal to 50. Very easy question. The interior angle of uh, a regular polygon is 108 degrees. Find the exterior. You know that the regular polygons have such um uh, we have to know that the, the sum of the interior angles and exterior angles is equal to what? It is equal to 180 or so. You have to take one, uh, uh, one of the angles, it's called 108 degrees. Then we we'll ask it to find the exterior. Exterior plus interior equal to 180. Then we know that in interior it is 108. You, ha you have XT plus uh this 108 degrees, which is equal to 180. Take that 180 minus 1. 108 to see what's the answer exactly to be exterior exterior angle here i said to find the missing uh the missing numbers here you have to do what you call cross multiplication three times eight is equal to what two times x is equal to what and then if it is three times eight is equal to 24 and then two x is equal to 2x to 24 divided by two both sides and then you get the x to be 18 sorry 12 means on that dot there is there is 12 there on number b it's the same cross multiplication 8 20 times 4 to be 80 5 times x x is to go to be a uh, 5 x and then 5 x equal to 80 then take 5 of by 5 and 80 by 5 you will get what you call the exact answer so these are the questions, please. I can't go through with it. Uh, it can be easy to me. Just to sort out these questions. But it can be, I, I can sort out like five to four questions at short time. And then since you want it to as a, a full package. That's why I'd like, I'd like to just like summarizing uh, our reading uh, through. And then give you the exact answers down. I think you're following. And uh, we are in 20... It's sort of the the for instance this twenty eight is a very easy question. Solve the following question: four minus x, which is equal to five x minus eight. This is correct like terms together. Where you will take four to the left side. If it is having positive, it will, it will take a negative because it's the on another type of equal sign. And then this five x will turn back to. To x simply means if it is having positive sign it will have also negative sign so if it is here you will having negative four and then here we're having a negative six the answer is called what negative six x which is equal to negative four so the negative a uh, 12 this will be equal to answer is equal to two so this is all about questions on um, your question paper and then you have to read through it clearly so that you can help you to answer it as much as possible this is uh, our statistics
uh, with the respective bar graph and uh, you are having to be asked some questions like how many days are shown on the on the graph um, and you see that it is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday the number of days i think is seven and then find the number of trays collected in the whole week you have to make a sum of it it is trays are on the this x x uh, y axis and then x axis you have there the the days on which day did the company or collect the smallest number of trays of x we see the lowest bar graph or graph or the lowest bar graph is on friday which is 15. on which days did the company collect the smallest number of yes on which days did the company collect the biggest number of trays of x the biggest bar graph is on saturday which is 50 trays and um on the day did the company collect the same, the same quantity of trays we have to see the graph that are on the same level and we have it to be on monday and wednesday it is 35. very easy questions without calculating anything just do it like that this is the questions this is the answers then according to that to that questions dear students are you following if you're following please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel called the chris khan academy because this channel is very important to these younger students that are not likely to um to know how to do the questions we having the exact answers but if you have the exact answer you try to do that question as on draft and then compare with the exact answer to see if the answer you are getting is the same as that i have provided to you yes and uh i like i like to teach and like students and uh it's a great pleasure to see students that are passing so that's why i like uh, to give you such kinds of mathematics we not get fed on mathematics if you follow if you follow chris Khan academy as well as uh I, I try to upload different videos that can help you yes these are the answers and very easy these are the answers thirty five as the, the other thing that I was talking about make addition in a week. Check the amendes you get two 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 five cross with the flat uh, to each egg to each tray of egg this is four hundred four thousand five hundred and then cross. So I think this is the the last question on this question paper. So guys, uh, let me stop from here. Uh, I don't like it to take much of the time talking about something that uh, that I talked to too so please if you want to do best mathematics in mathematics please first work hard do more questions do more questions take a pen and book do do more questions don't read mathematics as i did because for me i know it and i know how to solve it each and everything but as a student if you want to do to pass the exam please please do more questions as much as possible so that you can remove or reduce the number of errors in your hand on your handwriting because the more you do more questions as solving it is the more you get you get the right or the correct answers so and reduce the errors in your in your writing so see you next ciao, ciao. i love you subscribe